welcome to today's video i'm sharing different stretchy cast loves from my online course successful lace knitting the course includes four stretchy cast offs the russian cast off the lace cast off the sewn cast off and the icelandic cast off and in this video i'm going to share the lace cast off all four cast offs are stretchy but some are stretchier than others which i will cover in the video these um Tutorials are taken from my online course Successful Lace Knitting and I will link the course below this video. Successful Lace Knitting is a bumper online course. It has about 50 or 60 lessons and it takes you right through from lace beginner to experienced lace knitter and it teaches you all the basics and some more advanced techniques. Um, I will link to the page below and you can see all the things that are included in the course there. If you have any questions, please just ask. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Anakin. I design knitting patterns. I teach knitting workshops online and in person. And I sell yarn from my website, yarnaddict.co.uk. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and um, enjoy the video. In this lesson, we're going to do the lace cast off. Um, now, there are several cast ons that are called the lace cast off if you do a search on the internet. So that can be a little bit confusing um, if you're looking for a specific technique because it is a very generic term. So the Russian cast off is sometimes called the lace cast off as well. Um, this cast off was not as stretchy as the Russian cast off. So I managed to make it stretch 16 centimeters which was two centimeters less than the Russian cast off on 21 stitches. So two centimeters on just 21 stitches is quite a lot. Um, so I personally would not use this cast on for a lace shawl. I think it is quite good if you want like a semi stretchy cast off or an alternative to a regular cast off because the regular cast off where you knit two stitches and lift the first stitch over the second stitch is very, very tight. Uh, there are ways you can modify to make it looser but on the whole it's very very tight this looks like a very neat cast off i really like the way it looks it is very neat and i would definitely use it um but i probably wouldn't use it on lace shawls where i need a very stretchy cast off i would stick to my tried and trusted uh russian cast off so it's an easy cast on a cast off to learn so you want to start by knitting two together through the back loop Okay, so you just knit two together through the back loop, so you put your needle in through the back of the next two stitches and knit them. And then you want to slip that stitch from your right needle back to your left needle, but purl wise. So you just have your needles, oh, needles pointing towards each other and just slip that stitch back. If you slip it, you don't want to twist this, you just want to pass it from one needle to the next. And then you knit the first two stitches through the back loop. So knit the first two stitches together through the back loop. So you end up with one stitch on your right hand needle. Pass that back to the left hand needle without twisting it. So just pass it back pearl wise. Put your left needle in to the back of the next two stitches and knit them together through the back loop. Put that stitch back on the left hand needle. Knit the next two stitches together through the back loop. Now there's a way you can make it slightly quicker. So when you put the stitch back in your left hand needle, your right needle is at the front. So instead of um, putting it at the front, when you put the stitch back on the left hand needle, if you put your left needle in at the front, so your right needle is at the back, you can then, without taking the right needle out of that stitch, you can just put it through the next stitch as well. So it goes through the first two stitches and then knit them together. So put it back on your left hand needle, knit two together through the back loop. So it's a fairly easy cast on. And it can be very, very quick once you get the hang of it. But it is not as stretchy as the Russian cast off in my experience. You can probably do it on a slightly bigger needle tip to make it stretchier. I haven't tried that, but it is a very neat. It looks actually very similar to the Russian cast off. But in my experience, it's not as stretchy. If you have any questions, just ask below this video. And I'm sorry the lighting went a little bit funny there right at the end. Um, my um, camera light has run out of battery so it switched off just as I was finishing the video so I do apologize if the lighting went a little bit funny at the end but hopefully you get the idea if you have any questions just ask 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, which was taken from my online course, Successful Lace Knitting, which is linked below this video. You can also find links to all my social media and to sign up to my newsletter below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, do ask them below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let me know if you've tried this cast off and what you think of it. Do you like it? Will you be trying it in the future? Tell me in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.